All right, what's happening, folks? It's not clickbait. I'm actually reviewing a SIG. Yes, Glock fanboy is what you call me. I'm not. I like a lot of guns. I don't typically and historically like SIGs. I say that. I used to be a SIG guy, and then I kind of look at SIG like a scorned lover of, like, why didn't you join the 21st century with the other gun manufacturers? But they did a solid. I think SIG, and they released their 320 striker fire gun, and I think, I don't know whether those will stand the test of time. People are seeing them break down a little bit. This is a review isn't about the SIG 320. Guys, stay on task here. The SIG 365 is what I've got here. I have never shot it. I, you're going to see me shoot it for the very first time right in front of you and take it out of the box. Uh, but anyway, I think SIG caught everyone with their pants down. It's amazing. They uh, took a subcompact gun, a tiny gun, and somehow uh, using some magical crystals, some technology from the future, they were able to pack 10 rounds into a tiny magazine, plus one of the pipe. That's 11. Uh, typically, when I'm not feeling like carrying my bigger 19, Glock 19, I carry a Glock 43, and this is a six plus one if you just have the normal flush magazine. And so I can compare apples to apples. I'm not using the extended magazine on this because I think that's cheating. Uh, when uh, SIG launched their 365 and all of a sudden they went 11 rounds on a subcompact, all the other gun manufacturers are like, crap. Oh no, and they kind of scrambled. I feel like Glock ended up releasing their 43X and 48, which has bigger capacity, but they extend out the magazine, which I think is cheating. As soon as you make it longer, I'm like, hey man, that's cheating. So I think SIG, by an engineering marvel, way to go, guys. Now I say that, of I'm not a fan of SIGs. Uh, I think they uh, break down faster than other guns. And some people are going to just shriek and all you SIG guys out there of like, yes, he's joining our side. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just giving credit where credit is due. Good job, SIG. No one's paying me for my opinion. Though Sportsman's Guide did send me this gun. Sportsman's Guide, way to go. You guys are awesome. Guys, shop Sportsman's Guide. Use code WARPOET and you'll save that cash money. So, all right. Uh, yay for that. Anyway. Good job, SIG, for getting that, uh, the magazine capacity way up. Amazing, fantastic. Glock, replicate it. 43X and 48 is cheating, in my opinion. I want to compare the two guns. I'm going to open this up. Still has the tag on it and the barrel flag in. Look at that. Hey, stop. Read operator manual entirely before using this product. That's a great idea. I'm not going to do that. Uh... Uh, anyway, let me just compare the size of the guns here. I'm going to put magazine in just for comparison. This is a cleared out gun. So here's your 43 and the SIG 365 right there. That's muzzle to muzzle. Looks like the 43 is a little bit longer. They're the exact same height from the top of the slide to the pistol grip. Uh... Yeah, the SIG's a little bit wider, but you can barely even tell that. Amazing SIG! Way to go! Too bad it's going to break down. <laughs> I'd say that the first generation uh, had some problems with their firing pin breaking. Uh, since then, SIG has apparently fixed that problem from what I hear, and other people who are torture testing these things, the SIG 365 now in its next evolution, its next generation, is actually holding up. So, way to go SIG! Even so, though it's the same size and gives me an additional four rounds, uh, that should probably shift many of you to be like, well, are you going to switch? And I'll say, absolutely not, I, I won't switch. Uh, and the reason why has to do with grip angles. And some of, the, some of you guys are going to really hate what I have to say. Others won't understand it. And many of you who don't understand what I'm saying will think that you do understand and you don't actually. There's two different types of pistols in my viewpoint. There's the... Uh, SIG 1911 Beretta kind of style over here, and it's a certain grip angle is what I'm referring to. And then there's all the modern uh, striker fire kind of stuff like MMP, uh, CZP-10C, there's the Glock, there's all the other ones that you know about. Uh, so Canix, it doesn't matter. And they have a certain grip angle that's based on a thumbs forward grip. And that's the idea that my thumbs go way forward and push out so that all my bones get behind the slide so that it'll lock out. 
Now, I've trained my presentation on my gun so that my sights are perfectly aligned every single time I present my gun. However, when I take this other class of pistol and I said, hey, kind of like the old school Berettas, the 1911s, and all the SIGs, they're not built with that kind of uh, uh, aggressive canting forward so that your bones can back up against it. Instead, it's kind of like straight up and then a slide sits on top of it. So it's a little bit goofier. What that means is anyone with a really meticulously trained presentation so that you present and your sights are aligned perfectly with a Glock or one other kind of these type pistols. If you present a SIG, you'll notice your front sight is low and then you have to pick it back up. And that's true with all the 1911s, all the SIGs. So if I just kind of close my eyes, presented and open my eyes, I don't see my front sight at all. And I have to lift the front sight up. There it is. And if you, if in milliseconds, when milliseconds count, when you're present out and you don't see a front sight, and then you gotta lift it back up, whoa, too high, and then drop it back down, that can be really, really devastating if you're trying to get a, a clear first uh, front sight. And the problem is, is because the angles are different, you can get really quick and consistent at presenting one of these two pistols. If you're good with a MMP 2.0, you're good with a Glock, and you're good with a CZ P10C. It's all the same kind of gun to me. If you're good with one, you're good with all of them. Uh, but because I'd have to retrain my presentation around this sight picture, I'll never be as good and fast unless I retrain it with that. And that, to me, is a big deal breaker. Though, man, four rounds is quite tempting. Uh, I end up using the uh, mag extensions on this or just a, a higher capacity mag, so there's that. There's also the problem with SIG mags. When you want to uh, buy more mags, I was looking at the uh, gun store yesterday, and mags for a SIG are 50 bucks a pop. 50 bucks for this. I'm like, come on, SIG. I want to stockpile magazines around whatever gun uh, that I use. So anyway, uh, that's enough chat. Uh, I, I No matter how well the SIG shoots, as long as it's shooting... The bullets are flying straight and the gun is not, you know, crapping out. I'll go ahead and recommend this gun. Just beware of that uh, grip angle that I was talking about. But let's go ahead and shoot this. I'm tired of talking and I want to, uh, I want to shoot. So uh, here we go. Hey guys, range is going hot. Eyes and ears are all on. Guys, downrange is the Raven target stand. I set that target up at 25 yards and uh, we'll just uh, see how we do. Going hot. All right, very good. No stoppages. Yeah, no stoppages. That was seven rounds at 25 yards on steel. It was shooting well. It was a little snappy. The gun was jumping up a little bit, uh, but my Glock 43 does as well. So uh, anyway, uh, I'll continue to shoot it and I'll update you guys if I run into any problems, but I wanted to give you a quick overview. Uh, SIG 365, good to go if you like that grip angle. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember to go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the notifications bell, like, comment. Holy cow, can I remember all the things? And Shop Sportsman's Guide, use my code WARPO. You'll start saving all of that fat cash, fat with a PH. See you guys.